channel, TV station this week and tell them they need to put it on at 1 in the morning because they shouldn't have it on at all. But it sure shouldn't be on at 3.30 when you have little children at home. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're going down to air. Where do you live, city, suburbs, or country? If you put city or suburbs, put a red check mark. Why is that? Roseman is a suburb. Suburb is outside of the city, but it's not country, country. If you don't have green trees and deer walking where you are and water and pine trees, and you're not in the country. I, Tehachapi country, I would call that country. It's not like Montana country, but it's country. Right, right. There, it, there, I would put it. Where you live, I would put country. Okay. Do you sleep with your windows open in the room that you sleep in? Do you crack your windows open? In the wintertime, you should have them, you know, you don't do your window like this in the wintertime. But in the summertime, you do. Right. If you put no, put a red check mark. Do you open your windows and doors daily to air out the home in every single room? If you put, if you said no, it, every single room, that includes the guest room, that includes your computer room. If you put, said no, put a red check mark. Do you live or work in a smoke-filled environment? If yes, put a red check mark. Do you have any smokers living in your home, whether they smoke marijuana, cigarettes, cloves? If yes, put a red check mark. Because unfortunately, sometimes we live with family members and they smoke cigarettes and stuff. Yes. 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 24-7. Go on the website, Three Angels. Now, if your bed is directly under the window, no. But if your bed's away from your window, yes. Go on threeangelshistoric.com, click where it says health, and go to the nugget where it says air. It's all on there for the air. It'll tell, it gives you all the quotes of what she says, winter, 24-7. No, she actually, here's the other theme. Does anyone remember how, what's the highest the temperature on the thermometer should be? 65. It's, yes, it should be no more than 65, the heat. If you need it higher than 60, thank you, I see you, brother. If you need it higher than 65, she said, you're not dressed properly. We're supposed to, well, we'll learn about that later. More layers. We're supposed to wear layers. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> and I'm learning just as you guys are learning. As I was doing this and been studying for the last, I started studying deep, deep under the trainer I'm training since October. So 15 months now. And I was shocked when I started learning these things. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Number six, do you have live plants throughout your home. Now, what you do is you put, for every 100 feet, every 100 feet should be one plant. So if you have a 3,000 square foot home, you should have 30 plants. And that sounds like a lot, but it's not. When I had this little apartment, I had 23 plants and I couldn't believe it. And I was in a 900 square foot home. I like plants. For every 100 feet, why? What does the plants do? That's right, and you do not need to buy an air filtering system. This is the plant, and what's the best kind? The philodendria? You know the real popular ones? You can get them at um, uh, Walmart. You can get them at, you know the green ones? They kind of look like ivy, but they're not ivy, and they grow real well. Those are so good for you. Oh, yeah, that's a philodendria. Oop. <laughs> I'm okay. This is a philodendria. This is so good for you. But if we had one for every 100 feet, you don't have to worry about the airing out your home. And what's another way you air out your home? Oxygen. What did we say? Open your windows. That's right. Okay. Let's go. Flowers are different. I, from what I've read, they should be outside, right outside your home to beautify. What'd you say? I'm sure trees are not, pine trees are very medicinal, so I don't see anything wrong with it, but they say the ones that are most beneficial for getting the good oxygen. And if you go on the computer and Google which plants are best for your house,
for oxygen. Or it'll tell you. It's like a list of seven. The ones I know the most are the philodendrias. Am I saying it right? I think I'm saying it right. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> are there any environments that you are in that do not have a good supply of fresh air? If we don't keep this door open throughout the day, we're not getting good air. We have to have cross circulation. Okay, let's see. Do you wear tight fitted clothing around your chest that restricts your lung expansion? This includes tight bras, girdles, cam cam um, camisoles. If they're tight, if you do this, or they leave marks, if your brassiere leaves a mark, put a red check mark. Do you do deep breathing exercises outdoors every day? If you said no, put a red check mark. Do you know we're counseled to do deep breathing every morning? Besides walking, yes. When she says upon awakening, when you drink your lemon water and you go get your, yes. Do you wear tight clothing around your waist? Belt, tight skirt, pantyhose, girdle, or tight pants? If yes, put a red check mark. What are men supposed to wear? Suspender. What are women supposed to wear? We're supposed to wear our dresses suspended from our shoulders. Yes. I'll be getting into that. Nope. She says it presses on the organs. If you have a suspender on it underneath your top, that's fine. No. It, now, the material today, some of it's so lightweight, but as we learn about the dress message, we'll realize some of the material we wear is not the material we should be wearing. In the summertime, it's lighter, yes? That's, we're going to be covering that. Okay, let's keep going. Do you run your heater higher than 65 degrees in the colder months? If you answer yes, put a red check mark. Okay, now we're going to rest. <laughs> No, 65, 65. She said the mercury cannot be higher than 65. She said if, you, if so, you will get congestion of the head, and she said you are not properly clad. You're not, you're not wearing enough clothing. You shouldn't feel any chill on your body. Okay, rest. What is your usual bedtime? If you go to bed later than 9.30, put a red check mark. Put a red check, and I know that's a tough one for us. Put a red check mark. <laughs> now, you don't have to be asleep at 9.30. We should be asleep. What's the latest we should be asleep? 10. But it takes a while to wind down sometimes. Sometimes you, have, you were out there digging for three hours. You put your head in the pillow. You're out in 30 seconds. Sometimes you lay down and you're tossing and turning like, Lord, I need to go to sleep. So you go drink your chamomile tea or something. But if you're not asleep by 10 o'clock or you're not in bed by 9.30, put a red check mark. Do you snack before you go to bed or eat anything? If yes, put a red check mark. Do you sleep with the lights on? That means your little night light. That means the little light on your alarm clock. If you have an alarm clock that has an um, infrared light, turn the clock around because that light will, will disturb your sleep. If you sleep with the TV on, that will disturb your sleep. Okay, we're gonna, we have to wrap this up. Um, it will disturb their sleep. Well, in that case, you know it's the lesser of two evils. Sometimes you have to use, for that, do it. But as they get older, you really don't want to have those lights. Okay, let's keep going. Do you work the night shift or swing shift? If yes, put a red check mark. Do you wake up early in the morning and find it difficult to go back to sleep? And I mean like 2 in the morning, 1 in the morning. Okay? Do you take sleeping pills, including herbs, to go to sleep? If you need herbs to go to sleep, put a red check mark. Do you make it a practice to get to bed at, oh, you don't, we'll, we'll ignore that because that's almost the same as the other one. Do you rest from labor at least one day per week? We should all say yes. So you don't need a red check mark. Do you rest or do you read, watch TV, or go on the computer right before bed? If you do any of those right before bed, put a red check mark because that will have an interference in the brain. Yes. They say you should stop two hours before you go to bed. 
The computer. No, the computer. Reading about 30 minutes. Okay. Number 11. Do you fall asleep with the TV or radio on? If yes, put a red check mark. If you need the radio to go to sleep, put a red check mark. If you need the t you know some people can't go to sleep unless their TV's on? If you need the TV on to go to sleep, put a red check mark. That's different. That, that's spiritual. Okay. That's spiritual. But still, we should go to sleep yeah. without any noise. Okay, um, we'll just do three more questions, and then we're going to stop under trust. We're going to go up to number three under trust. Do you spend time with God in prayer every day? Every day. And be honest with yourself. If no, put a red check mark. Do you have a devotional time by yourself, not with your spouse, not as a family, but by yourself every day? If no, put a red check mark. And, and for when we talk to the people of the world, it says there, if no, would you like to have one? That's for the people of the world. Number three, do you spend time reading the Bible every day? If you don't do it every day, put a red check mark. Number four, it's still number three. This will be our last one. Do you read the spirit of prophecy every day? If your answer is no, put a red check mark. And we're going to stop right here. Does anybody have any questions? Now let me ask you guys a question. You don't tell, have to tell me how many red check marks. Does everybody have at least one red check mark? Several, huh? You'll be surprised. But see, God is calling us to come up higher. This is a guide to show us where we are if we have, some people get sick very easily. Some people always have a runny nose. Some people get fevers, headaches, but this will show you why. What did we say? Disease is a violation of the laws of health. Correct the violation, and the problem goes away. So this is just showing you what, the pro, what, what things we're violating. And then work on those and bring it before the Lord. Now, we'll be here tomorrow at 930. We're going to start 930 sharp tomorrow. For those who cannot make it, the video will be up sometime this week, and you can watch it for Sunday. And next week, there will be no meeting Sabbath or Sunday because we're having the, what's that called? Conference. conference. We're having the conference. So there will be no classes next week, Saturday or Sunday. So we'll have a break.